After seven months of hitting the bars and hanging out, Reuben proposed. Obviously, I said yes. I finally found a man who loves drinking and fishing as much as I do. Reuben insisted I move into his apartment with him, and I didn't think twice about it. We decided we would celebrate our first night together with a feast. Butter basted fillets, cashew chicken salad, and crispy parmesan asparagus. Turns out my fiance is a wizard in the kitchen. When dinner was ready, Reuben poured himself a large glass of wine and proposed a toast to many happy years together. After a slurp of wine, Reuben began gorging on his dinner, eating like a wild animal. He was chewing obnoxiously loud, shoveling food in his mouth like it was slop. The gnawing and wet mashing made my skin crawl. I realized I had never seen Reuben eat before. We would drink, sure, but in seven months, we never sat down and ate a meal together. Is your food alright? Reuben asked, speaking through a mouthful of chicken salad. It's, it's great! <laughs> I thought I could learn to ignore his chewing. I was mistaken. Every time we ate together, I thought about popping my eardrums. His mouth was always wide open. I could hear him masticating from the other side of the apartment. One night, I politely asked, Could you, could you please chew with your mouth closed? Reuben walked around the table, picked up my dinner, and smashed it into my face, plate and all. He started screaming, saying he'd eat however he damn pleased. From then on, I'd have to eat dinner right next to him so I could learn to love how he chewed. I thought about the months Reuben and I spent dating. We were always inebriated, at the club, drunk, fishing together, an excuse to drink. I must have not noticed the red flags on account of being wasted, or maybe it wasn't active. Maybe it wasn't act up until this point. I got cold feet and tried to delay our engagement. Reuben responded by hitting me in the jaw. I wasn't sure if I was going to get out of this relationship alive. Tonight, I decided to cook dinner. I made Japanese curry and rice, and Reuben was thrilled that I was pampering him for once. He said he liked this new side of me. I told him I wasn't hungry. My jaw was still sore. The truth is, I wasn't eating because I stirred a ton of ambient into his food. Not enough to kill him. Barely. Before long, he was out cold. I got ready to vanish into thin air. I was going to move to a new town and never see Reuben again. But I had unfinished business first. I wanted payback for all the times he forced me to listen to his disgusting chewing. I gathered some fishing line and my sharpest hook. Every stitch through his lips was a reminder not to chew with his mouth open ever again. 